Welcome to today's vlog. It's currently 10 minutes fucking past 4. I have not slept. I stayed up all night because I thought I watched Kenobi on their premieres. As Cody is watching this, you bastard, told me it premieres at 4. And I should have Googled and checked. And it's on him. I've checked it. Disney Plus twice, not there. <laughs> yeah, I got this fun news. So we'll have to go to sleep for like what, two hours or something. And they wake up again at eight, so we know I could go to sleep for four hours. And all I'm gonna be doing tomorrow to the what's the game? It's working right now, so I don't really need that much energy for that. Bring me my new way now. Wow. <laughs> to be fair though, this is the earliest we've ever started one of these. Fixed the lighting. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was getting most in my time from me jumping to bed up until now it's on FaceTime. So yeah, I'm to I don't even use my DS, it's just it's continuous with the okay. Can't tell me again I already told you. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in now like yesterday's merch. So it'll be funny by the time I wake up I'll probably forgot that this clip exists. And hopefully my brain doesn't tell me, oh, just delete that, so no worries. Hopefully I don't do that. <laughs> but again, it was kind of hard to win this. Um, I have to think of an early time. I know there's ones that start like before 7 o'clock. Like some of the college ones. I'm going to think it up here. Then there's a little pissed off me showing up. Just reasons. I'm sure I wasn't close to being like, you know, the punch truck. Oh, it's still dark as hell. Four to five percent. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hopefully, I remember that this one exists. So, you guys will never know. Ah, uh, yes, the vlog that I just remembered is continuing, <laughs> and that this is not the starting clip. But, yeah. Welcome to vlog, I think this is number 350 something. I've not started to upload yesterday's, even though it is merged, I'm lazy, so. <laughs> it's 20 minutes past 10, I'm not just up. Another burnt hour, um, so. As you may remember from the start clip, which is probably not the best clip. Um, I stayed up till 4 in the morning, because on the bad advice of one fucking Cody, who also is usual on this channel. That would be the ideal time to watch Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Kenobi, episode 3. And I thought, yeah, do you know what, let's go do that. It is on Disney Plus now, but it turns out it wasn't up till 8. So, screw you. Maybe this changes the times, I don't know. Yeah. So I've not seen the episode yet, I'm actually going to watch it soon. After I have to get ready and junk as well today, so it's just like, I've got, I got, I got stuff to do. I, I, got, I got a few things that I need to get done, so, yeah, we got to look at things like that as well, so, yeah, um, I will be showering stuff, we're going through to Dunfermline, if you, again, if you know where the hell that is in the UK, then you understand I'm currently in the Midlothian area of Edinburgh right now, but that will change very soon, so, yeah, we've been watching a bunch of videos on YouTube, if you've seen the second episode of Kenobi, you'll have seen that, um, homeless clone trooper, everybody, 
is making so many crazy speculation theories, it's actually quite entertaining. Um, I'm actually getting a kick out of some of the crazy ones people are coming up with. So, yeah. I do like it when the Star Wars and fan community comes up with crazy ass shit. It's quite interesting to see. Oh, look at me. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, my predictions for this episode. Darth Vader will do a thing. That's literally my prediction. It'll do a damn thing. Right? Right. It's just... It's, it's my prediction in ends. So, the next thing I need to do, by the way, is I need to organise some nice looking clothes since I'm going out technically somewhere nice today. Even though it's a store. The one costume because you just dress nice just for making appearances. Sure. So, I'm going to pick up some nice ass clothes. Oh, yeah. Weez is completely sorted. So, I need to go and kind of clean all this up. It's, again, it's messy. I won't put it in the drawers because the drawers won't do what take it. And the last thing I need to do is a set of broken drawers, so, you know, that just makes sense to me. In the shower, I will be washing my hair and stuff. I mean, I was thinking about putting dry shampoo in again, but I think I'd rather just wash it. Um, so that shampoo I got, by the way, that stuff, that stuff is actually quite good. So, you know, I'm going to just sort for all the clothing. Because uh, this is quite heavy here. You know what? Screw it. That is organised as I'm probably going to make it. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to go watch Kenobi. I'm actually debating, do I get dressed now? Do I shower now and then watch Kenobi? Or, uh, do you know what? I'm going to go travel check what time we're leaving so I can make that judgement. One moment. Right, so I think I'm going to watch Kenobi first. Um, we're not leaving until like around 12, after 12. So it's like, do you know what? I've got an hour and a half. It's an ideal amount of time. So, yeah. Um, my only predictions is a Darth Vader related thing will happen in this episode. So I will see you guys after I've watched Kenobi. Wow. I actually still need to upload yesterday's vlog, but... Oh my god. Well, I can't remember the last time I felt so much excite watching a Star Wars show or series that was that was unbelievable. It's like that was unbelievably good. That's what I all have to say on that. Just if you've not seen Kenobi episode three again, if you haven't, this is your spoiler warning. Like the spoilers. So, yeah, I'm going to put you down and I'll talk about it while I do some things i got to do. So, this is, yeah, it's just your spoiler warning. The show, that one was just, it was everything I wanted it to be. And, by the way, if you want to know what time it is, it's actually 19 minutes past 11. So, I don't even have time to get ready. I have to put my clothes over here because I need to make the bed. But, yeah, I'm wearing Christmas bottoms. Deal with it. I'm actually in love with this show. It's so good and where do I start like it, it opened up and I had those views again this is a spoiler so if this spoils can all be for you I'm sorry um, but again I have warned multiple times that this is spoilers like it just opened up you know continuation you know Obi-Wan talking trying to communicate with Qui-Gon Jinn and stuff and you know ends up with them on a planet you know and they was like doing like a kind of hitchhiking thing with some kind of hillbilly kind of trucker, right? And the way I would describe this guy, right, is this alien. It's like, you know how you get those skinheads? Like the neo-Nazis. It's like, oh yeah, this guy seems very friendly. He'll drive us to the spaceport. Has a fucking imperial flag on the back of him. It's like, oh, that's the best way to describe it. It was like kind of a, kind of dirty kind of hillbilly like pickup truck. It was like a Star Wars, but I mean, like, made as if it was in Star Wars. It was, wow, that was pretty cool. And, you know, it was good enough. There ended up being a whole kind of fight out scene with Obi Wan. Like, he didn't pull his lightsaber, even though he had it. He just ended up using a blaster pistol, kind of just, you know, taking out stormtroopers left and right. Like, that was, that was pretty cool on its own. Um, and then they had a whole scene, and it was, um, then going through the tunnels, talking about like other Jedi's and stuff like that, like Quinlan Voss again, like stuff that a Star Wars fan would completely understand. It was just wow. I, I just what's that meme of Tomorrow Morrison? The honor words. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know, like, it, it, unless you're a fan, I don't think you'll quite understand my excitement. So then it went through the whole process, and just like, oh, yeah, just being like an irritating child, but in a likeable way. And then it went to a point where it ended up being. It ended up, sorry, I ended up being that, um, you know, they, not only did they alert Vader, right? But he appeared. He appeared a few times throughout the opening, you know, just to, like, to kind of show us how his suit goes on, which is quite cool. Because the only other time we see him really about the suit in the movies is Revenge of the Sith when they're putting the suit on him for the first time. And you do see it again, and we well, see him in, without it in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. So, it was nice to see it from like another perspective. It's not I put this lamp on because I'm going to go for a silver. Like so I'm gonna close up the blinds and so. That's what I'm doing. Nobody always see me. Well, that's, that's a bit more lighting than them. Smart on laser. <laughs> Same thing And then there was a whole like they they built it up like they were gonna fight and I was thinking, oh, are they not gonna fight? I was like, wait, there's twenty minutes, oh, they're definitely gonna fight. And yeah, it was just so sort of good scenes. Like the fight scene was quite like Obi Wan trying to escape, and it's like Vader just being ominous and just like saying like stuff. It's just like it's like, and Obi Wan's like, "What have you become?" He's like, "I am what you made me." <laughs> it's like shit like that, and just like, damn, this the series is shaping up to be pretty good as so far. Like, I, if I had to have one complaint with it, is we've had more Leia than we have had Luke. But I get that Leia's you know part of it. It's not a sexist way, just it's like you know. I suppose all Leia doesn't like outside of the original trilogy and what she does do in the sequels. Leia isn't really explored that much. I mean, we do get a lot of Leia's early life. I mean, actually, yeah, we get some some of it in Star Wars Rebels. So it's like, why would you not focus on Luke a little bit more? But you know, maybe Luke will be you know be an arc of Obi Wan and Luke, which I would quite like, but. The fact that they fought Obi Wan dra getting dragged through hot burning coal and shit by Vader just to like show him what suffering is like, just seems like that made the show for me completely. Like, I know, I had to go from a shot. I'm just, well, one thing I didn't, I couldn't believe was that, that Vader showed up so early on in the series. I honestly thought they would reserve that for like the kind of final maybe two episodes, but I'm like, really? Third episode? Vader's popping up? Like, Mind you, I'm not sure if there's how many episodes there was. I think the Book of Boba Fett had six. Six, six or eight episodes. Uh, I actually don't know how many this get. So it's weird. It's like, this year is going to be great. I'm super hyped for Bad Batch because that tra season two is trailer dropped. It's like this whole year is a bunch of good series and all I can't wait to watch. I'm waiting for my shower. Um, I'll see you guys well after I'm ready in that because I'm going to go see a Star Wars series put like, put somebody's breakdown. On the Kenobi episode. UK and EU. The funding scheme called Horizon has a budget of nearly 100 billion euros, but higher education could be blocked from the funding with warnings the scheme is on precipice. Well, Vivian Stern is director of Universities UK International and represents Scottish universities around the world. Uh, Vivian, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. For people who are not familiar with this, how crucial is this Horizon scheme? on how you pass the, the test as well. What they do is they get you in, they give you like an, it's like an eight hour course. The first bit is like, you know, um, your introduction to bike safety and then they take you with the bike, it's usually in a car park they do it. And what they do, and what they do is they just, they, they do at the end, aye, they basically get you to demonstrate how you use a bike, how what each button does and then 
eventually they'll take you out and after that they if you pass you can go and buy a motor but you can you can go buy a motorbike so it cost me 150 pound to do it which i might I'll, i might do it next time i get paid which is uh, june 17th oh, that's not bad that's only 16 days Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Um, the Queen's worth it, I feel like. I love the Queen. I think that she is like a living museum. She's been alive for 96 years. Any more of you thinking, oh, I could have stayed at home this the sun? No, there is no place in the world. Oh, I met the Queen this like day. 10 years ago. Like, Aye. Really, yeah, when I saw the, her Diamond Jubilee on TV, and I was like, if that lady makes it to her platinum, I will be there. And I, I kept that promise to myself, so. But what are you going to fill your time doing before the weekend? Um, Writing my second book about the Queen. Wow, okay. We have a Queen. Enjoy that. Would you have that? See, if I could, I would. See, if I could, I would go halfway on a caravan if I could. I wouldn't mind help paying to help you store it, but I wouldn't come through enough to use it. Right. So I might not be through here again for another six months because I don't get very much holidays. They don't like getting us holidays at B&M. <laughs> the funny thing is, see when we're in work, they play these adverts over the intercom the speaker thing and they, go, and they talk about how B&M is such a great place to work and how you should get a job there. You know how when you're in a shop you hear music? Oh, We've got one of the things in my wife, but they play adverts on us. Right. And they all, there's an advert about all the brilliant job opportunities. See the plane. It's a big plane. Just about oh, I've got a good picture of that though. No, they play a little thing and it's telling you that you should, telling you why you we should work at B and M and that it's a great opportunity. They play a little ad saying that. Is it hell? <laughs> They make out that it's a nice place oh, on the little ad. Like they play an ad. Nice. They play a little ad saying it's one of the nicest places. To no, it's not. <laughs> mm. You find your radio. Dominic Raab insists there won't be a vote of confidence in Boris Johnson next week. 28. Why he believes he hasn't broken the ministerial code after being fined for a lockdown breach. Police have launched an appeal for information after a man was allegedly racially abused on a bus in the it happened on the X-27 service between Antwerp and Antwerp. A group of celebrity chefs have got together to share recipes ahead of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee I'm celebrations. Jimmy Oliver, Gordon Ramsay and Dave... I'm sick of the Jubilee. Oh, the TV never showed you how to be. Jubilee kids and Ryan. I don't know, I don't like it. I don't want a Union Jack. I don't like England. That's the latest. I'm sorry. Ah, it's a lot of nonsense. I'm not seeing any box. Yeah, I 
they do it for a time, don't they? Uh. Aye, I've seen cruise boats here, but you don't see any big um, cargo ships. Oh. I like this bridge, but I like the older one a wee bit better. It looks nicer. They built this one because all the cables were starting to go. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it would take them six years to uh. replace all the cables. And they can't even shut the bridge for six years. So that's why lorries aren't allowed on it now. It's worn out. Uh, what's allowed on it? Just, just ca cars and bikes. I don't think there's cars allowed on it. Is there no? Nope. Then what's allowed on it? Or have they closed it? I'll have a wee look, I might have to look that one up. No. No. No, that's no how that. Just press that button in here. It starts to go. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? I built it for. You built. I'm definitely not going near it then. No, I done it alright. I done it in the instructions. I went to show it. It's, it's just... You all right? You got it? I am sorted. It's telling me the right hands. Is it not working? Hit scan. There you go. Okay, come back soon to check your lucky numbers. Alexa, this was really funny. Are you a prostitute? <laughs> Sorry, 
I didn't catch that. No, I used to say, <laughs> sorry, I'm not sure. You have to repeat it. There's more to like. Alexa. Are you stupid? Sponsored by Aldi Sorry, Best of Scotland. I didn't catch that. Could you repeat? Alexa, do you have a stutter? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat? Alexa, why are you repeating? Alexa, Alexa, give me a dirty joke. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat? Alexa, why are you repeating? <laughs> or did I? So I'm back. I last bit of footage we was just in the house. Uh, my phone started to get a little battery. I was going to plug it in and there. I just didn't bother to continue vlogging. It is basically half past nine. So in the next sort of 20 minutes, which, fuck, this, the days are going too quick. Do you know what I hear about that? See, when I'm at home in Glasgow, the days don't go so quickly they drag on see when I'm here and enjoying myself it drags on too far too fucking quick and it's even more pain it's, like, it's painful because I know I won't be here anytime soon after this but I got a thing let me show you so this is a gift from my nan who's always home stay with right now and basically it was a gift of saying listen thank you for all the hard work that you've been doing around the last couple of days and well she actually ordered it like a month or so ago and she got screwed as far as the shipping goes. And um, big thanks to her for this. Because I actually have looked at these for a number of years. And just never bought one. Mostly because I'm scared at the Royal Mail. Who, by the way, whenever I order from them in Glasgow. Famously, fuck. Oh, sorry, I just something there. Famously, fuck it up. And my, my parcels. Unless it's like the bubble mail. Or it's like whenever I order something that's like a, in a box. The Royal Mail, bless them, always completely fuck it up. And it's actually kind of funny. Well, it's not funny, but I think you get where I'm going with this. One second, before we open it, yeah, I'm messing with you guys. I need to go get a drink, actually, one second. I got this. So, yeah, I did get my drink. This is something I've wanted for a while. Hopefully you can tell it's a Star Wars thing. And if you're really inquisitive, you'll be able to tell it's a Lego thing. Let's somehow take out this very carefully so I can show even better. Here it is. So I've seen these on Facebook for probably the last five years in the Lego Star Wars group. And thought, do you know what? This is pretty cool. It doesn't have a front, by the way, because I can tear it open slightly. See, I can put my hand in and I can touch the little bricks. But this is a pretty cool thing. It's a minifigure display case, or stand, whatever you call it. I'm actually going to take it out this wrap here. So yeah, it does not have a front like or glass or anything to it. Um, it also can be used like a photo frame as well. See, it's got a little bit on the back. If you remove this, it can be a standard photo frame, which is quite cool in case you don't want to put it on the wall. But I don't have any Lego minifigures on me, never mind Star Wars ones to demonstrate right now. Um, obviously, they're all at home. This can fit... It can fit 14 minifigures inside of it. That's quite cool. So I'd turn the clip there. Basically, when I go home, I'm going to pick 14 of my rarest minifigures. Um, for those of you who watch regularly, you'll know exactly who some of those 14 are. Darth Malgus, Agent Kohler, the Bush Leia, Zam Wessel. Just, yeah. Just name a few. This is a really cool gift. Um, thank you very much to her for getting me this. Like, I have never bought one of these, and it's just like, this is crazy. I don't know how they could have told me on the bus. Like, I don't want to put this in my bag unless it's in bubble wrap or in the box. I'm sorry. I, I was playing Mario. I, 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 wow. I actually genuinely can't believe I got one of these. I'm going to pack it up. But no, it's pretty cool. I go home on Tuesday the 7th, but my nan actually comes through on Friday the 10th. So I'll actually, I just leave her and say, listen, can you bring it through in the car with you since it'll be a bit more convenient? <laughs> But no, I really want to test it out right now. Also, I don't have any minifigures. I'm going to be jumping over to Asda. And it's like, they do have some Lego sets on reduce. And it's like, my bank account balance is actually much healthier than I thought it was. So it's like, I have been looking at buying some more Snowtrooper battle packs. And they are selling for fucking £15 a go in Asda. They are 14 something in Sainsbury's. But Sainsbury's is closed right now. But I'm not going over to Asda particularly to buy a Lego. But I'm definitely not going to say no if I do decide to randomly do it. 
Obviously, I'd only put them in there temporarily. But, see, um, no, but the rare and coolest minifigures in my collection that end up in there, 14 of them at least. Another one I can name that's going in there will be the original 2008 Captain Rex. I just want to put in as well. Mmm. Oh, yeah, if you wonder what I'm mm, eating as I've been eating some of these. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. Um, if I do end up going to Asda, which I am considering, I'll vlog. So, see ya. So, even though it's not been mentioned in, until now, and even though I didn't vlog or anything to do with it, I went to Asda. The current time is 28 minutes past 11. Today's been one of those days where it's just completely fallen in. And as I've got a whole bunch of things like Rice Krispie Squares and Tuck Biscuits and just, you know, things of that nature. I do enjoy a bottle of water, which is something I don't usually drink. But I would know I wanted some cold water, so yeah, there you go. I'm just enjoying myself just watching some TV. Um, Britain's most evil kill you. Call me a psychopath. Call me... Whatever you want to call me in the comments, it's a show that I kind of like watching. Um, so, yeah, be as judgmental as you damn well please, because I don't care. <laughs> I've also been sitting on Brickling looking at kind of cheap Lego figures that I may or may not be after. Um, most of the things like Contrapers, Battle Droids, like, things that are army buildable. That's what I've been looking at, because it's just like, I'm going to have so much money in the month for June, like, more than I usually would, that it's like, do you know what, screw it, I'm going to treat myself, for you up there, um, so, yeah, um, you've got this clip, you'll probably have one more after this, and see today's vlog starting at, like, fucking ten past four in the morning, or whatever it was, the chances of that ever happening again are so fucking slim, by the way, it's not something that I immediately plan to really do, Soon or really ever again. And it was a one off because I fought the Kenobi according to Cody. You fucking idiot. Fucking. Sorry, I'll be doing it. You fucking idiot. He doesn't have to do the Liverpool thing on here. Um, and me. Fucking hell, man. Anyone who's from Pro, if you're watching this, I don't give a fuck how angry you are. That is still a funny impersonation. Nonetheless, and I've completely changed the subject. <laughs> no. He told me that it premiered at 4, maybe the original two episodes did, I don't know, but this episode didn't. But, like I said earlier in this vlog, yesterday's episode was so fucking good, honestly, it was crazy good. Like, I was just blown away by what it was like to watch, so, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, who knows, I may actually buy the odd cone trip, I plan to buy a lot more cones, um... See, I need 26 more clone troopers to get to my goal of 100 for clone army 2023. Now, I'm confident that I can pack, go through that. It's like, I'm looking at a deal right now on Bricklink. It's four of the Phase 1 Clone Wars style animated clone troopers. Four of them for £21. That includes the handling fee, because on Bricklink, you have to pay the handling fee. It's not like where eBay is like, you can have buy it now with free postage or posting and packaging. It's literally, you have to... Pay pack posted and packaging. It's just one of those things that works the way it works. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to my show. I'll probably see you guys around or just after midnight. The end.